Hello students. I hope you are working day and night for CAT and other competitive papers. Students, let me tell you here, it's not only about your intelligence, the knowledge of the concept that you have learnt or the kind of accuracy that you attain is only something which helps you in the exam. Rather, it is the time that you spend per question is of a great, great significance in case of CAT or other such competitive papers. The students, here the topic that I am going to discuss is allegation and mixture, which is one of the complex topics. And if I talk about your uh, preparation for that very topic, now this is a very different kind of a topic that if you see a question related to allegation, you may skip that question, you may avoid it, or you may make a very, very lengthy equation to solve that question. Now let's learn here with the help of an actual CAT question that how can we solve those questions logically, quickly, along with the long equation oriented method to answer that. Now students, just have a look at the question. Now here is a question talking about a dishonest dairy shop owner who starts putting milk into a container consisting of water. Here, he would withdraw 9 liters and replace with milk and every time he will keep on doing that. After that, finally, a smart person comes to know of that and at that time, the ratio is given to be 16 is to 9. Right, students? Now, how do we solve that questions? Now, for this question particularly, this is the formula that you apply. Now, as per that formula, students, you write the quantity left is equal to the total quantity and then 1 minus n by total quantity raised to the power t, where n is the quantity withdrawn every time. Now, students, here, if I refer to the question once again, it specifies that the ratio is 16 is to 9 for water to milk. This means water is 16 if the milk happens to be 9. Now here, students, you can say the quantity left will be 16 by 25 of the total as 16 water and 9 milk is there, which was also a part of the total. This is equal to the total quantity. And then 1 minus 9 liters are withdrawn every time divided by x raised to the part Two because the process is done twice. Now, can you write the left hand side as 4 by 5 raised to the power 2? X we can cancel here only is equal to x minus 9 by x raised to the power 2. We can cancel this, students, and then we can solve it to say. 4x is equal to 5x minus 45 and solving that you get the value of x to be equal to 45 liters. So this 45 liters here becomes your answer. Right students? Now let's think about this question logically. Can I say finally what is left over is 16 by 25 and students, do you remember how many times you have done this process? You have done this process two times. So if you have done this process two times, you need to know that this figure is the square of which number? No, this is the square of 4 by 5. This means the quantity left is 4 by 5 every time. If quantity left is 4 by 5 every time, you can say you have withdrawn 1 by 5 every time, students. And the question says 9 liters have been withdrawn every time. So students, 1 by 5 of x on one hand is equal to 9 on the other. So you can answer it. x will become equal to 45. Right students? So this 45 here becomes your answer. So you can see whether you apply this approach or you apply that approach, the answer by default remains the same. Students, uh, I hope you all have understood it. In order to learn this concept as well as a few more concepts through videos, you should register at hitbullseye.com. I hope you would have really enjoyed it and this will really help you in solving the questions in a better manner. Thank you. Happy learning.